I've often heard people say that Christmas is actually a pagan holiday or that it has pagan origins. What is the truth of it? As far as I'm aware, even scholars still debate this. Well, they debate it because uh, they're, they're boobs. No, uh, well, it doesn't have pagan roots. Some of the customs were picked up from pagan, right? Because that's simply what was there. Like what? Well, the Christmas tree. Now, there are a lot of differing uh, stories as to the origins of the Christmas tree. Some would like to say Martin Luther started it. Uh, others that it started a lot earlier. Certainly the idea of bringing in evergreens to the cold uh, was something that our pagan ancestors thought about, those that worshipped Thor, because the pine tree was sacred to Thor. But that's not why people do it now. I mean, you might as well say that uh, because we use candles, that's pagan. The use of holy water is pagan. The use of incense is pagan. See, there are only a limited number of things people can do. The wearing of clothing is a pagan custom. <laughs> Talking is a pagan custom. Eating is a pagan custom. All of these things originated with the heathen. So they should be avoided. My advice, if you're that worried about Christmas's heathen origins, Stop breathing, because the pagans did it first. And that way you'll avoid any touch of paganry. It's, it's a lot of rot. It's meant to discredit what we do. And all I can say is, um, to reverse, to, to, to anyone who's upset with Christmas because it's pagan, uh, I can only wish you what uh, Ebenezer Scrooge wished uh, in reverse. You know, he said, uh, anyone who goes about with any Christmas on his lips, should be uh, buried in his own plum pudding with a steak of holly through his heart. Well, that's how I feel to the enemies of Christmas. Well, I'd like to bury you in my plum pudding and stick a <laughs> stick of holly through your heart. <laughs>